Immigration is incredibly complicated and it can be very difficult, for, particularly for people with sort of an irregular immigration history, to apply for relief. Before someone has a T visa, um, often they're unable to work lawfully in the United States, um, which is a barrier to finding well-paid and stable employment. The visa itself gives a path uh, to permanent residency uh, in the United States, which again sort of follows that if you, if you can't go home, you know, that it's not going to be okay to just stay for a year or two while things go down. No, you, it allows you to put down roots here. don't have a permanent immigration status, coming forward is actually really terrifying. A lot of um, our clients are terrified of deportation and um, we have to really sit down with them and talk about the benefits and risks of applying for a status and then also pursuing um, claims, whether that be civilly or um, with re via reports to law enforcement. I mean, when we first met our client, um, you know, she was, she was unable to talk about what happened to her without shaking. Um, she had to use a translator that she'd never met before that we found um, to try to explain a really traumatic time for her. I think it, it just sort of highlights how complex the, the process is for us as lawyers, <laughs> um, let alone someone who is just, you know, trying to find safety and security after experiencing something traumatic. We're really starting to expand our expert declaration work in immigration matters and so um, in the past several years we have as advocates have started to see a lot of challenges to T visa filings and we are starting to receive more and more requests based on our publications for expert declarations on topics like trafficking of persons with disabilities, the intersection of domestic violence and human trafficking, and other types of topics. I love the way our organizations, HTLC and AYUDA, are able to support one another. So for example, in, in my case where I had a pretty egregious denial of a T visa, um, HTLC's support in providing expert declaration was pretty critical to that client's success. sort of a whole network of nonprofit entities that, that each specialize in something and I think we're always a resource that we could go to for help on each step of the way um, and the fact that they're working and partnering with, with law firms like ours is just makes makes it easier for us to to get access to um, to be able to provide our services. I attended a few trainings uh, that, that uh, Mark Martina put on uh, through the center um, and um, you know, uh, introduced her to folks at, at Blank Rome and uh, was very pleased when, when the firm uh, decided to put institutional support behind the important work uh, of the center. So there really are a lot of barriers um, and I think with by, by being able to, you know, with the assistance of the Human Trafficking Legal Center and a number of other nonprofits um, to make sure that we were doing everything by the letter and, and the right way within the right amount of time. She then could use that time and energy um, to take English classes and seek employment and um, she really thrived so much in that regard and she just texted that she got a new job and um, it's just been really amazing to see sort of her growth throughout this process and how sort of empowered she feels by now having um, legal status here and, and be on this path to, to um, you know, citizenship or permanent residency or whatever the case may be. It's always just such a joy to be at the airport 
and see your client reunited with their children after you know often years going years without seeing them um, you know it's <laughs> I challenge anyone to not cry when that happens.